Still talking protests, this time from the staff of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. They protested in Lagos against the concession of federal airports in the country. The protesters say it will mean handing over Nigeria's airports to foreigners and selling out Nigeria's international terminals. Again, Plus TV Africa's Annette Felix has more. Singing solidarity songs and bearing placards, aviation workers in Lagos say they're against the planned concession of the four international airports in Nigeria. <laughs> Some of the placards say the concession is a ploy to destroy the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria fan. Others ask the government to resolve the concession of the Mutala Mohammed Airport too. Led by the chairman, Air Transport Senior Staff Association of Nigeria fan branch, Comrade Ahmed Danjuma addressed members during the protest at Freedom Square, Mutala Mohammed Airport, Ikeja, Lagos. This issue of concession of our airport is an illegality, it's an injustice to Nigerian people, it's yes. an injustice to fans. Yes. And we will continue to resist it. Our president of the committee has exposed us to their antics, their critics, their plans to deal with our national assets. Danjuma says the government needs to be transparent with aviation workers regarding the planned concession, adding that they're against the proposed contributory pension scheme. Aneta Felix, Plus TV Africa. Joining us now to take a look at some of the concerns expressed by the protesters and other issues is Chris Ndulwe, the CEO of CleanServe Energy, as well as the former MD of Arig Air. Thank you very much for joining us on the Thank news. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's your reaction to this proposed concession of um, international airports across the country? Yes, I think it's something that um, eventually has to be done. You know, and I think that what the what aviation workers are actually concerned about is what happens to them after the concession. And um, not doing the concession is not an option because it's something that I think must be done. Because the, the business of running an airport is such a delicate one. It's not something government can continue to run. Today, government is not running it profitably, and that is why government is borrowing heavily to, to build the airports, to improve on the airports. So what um, becomes of these workers? I mean, some of them have worked with um, the airports for many years. And I mean, the Yes, I think what, what, what needs to be done is that government is saving a lot of money by concessioning the airports. Government is probably going to earn some money by concessioning the airports. Mm -hmm. So I think government needs to engage these workers who are actually government workers. Government needs to engage them and um, reach some agreements on how to take care of them, how to pay them off, or some, um, some uh, disengagement benefits, which may also be part of discussions with uh, new concessionaires that are coming in. Okay, let, let's look at the uh, facilities, uh, airport terminals, Lagos, Port Harcourt, and the likes. What's your assessment of the facilities there? And do they, aside from getting the certification, the ICAO certification, the international standards, I mean, you know more hmm. about that. Yes, um, the National Civil Aviation Organization. But basically, ICAO is not uh, concerned with uh, concessioning of, it's not concerned with certification of airports. Because okay. uh, most of the time people talk about ICAO certification. No, what ICAO does is to actually regulate the Civil Aviation Authority, like the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, NCA. So what ICAO does is to make sure that the NCA is operating efficiently and doing their work. They come to the airport to see that what NCA says they're doing, they're, they're doing it, actually, and they can see it being demonstrated at the airport. That's all ICAO is concerned about. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's the business of the Civil Aviation Authority to certify the airports. Okay, what about the facilities across the board in our airports as it stands? Yeah, you see, it's because of the fact that the facilities, the major reason why we're talking about um, concessioning is the fact that the, the, the facilities at the airport need upgrades. If we, if we have everything working well, perhaps we, we may not be too concerned with the concessioning right now. 
But you find that um, a lot of facilities are not working at the airport. Our airports are not the kind of airports that you find any other place today. You know, you, you come in and a lot of things are not working. And that's why government needs to hands off and let the uh, private sector deal with that. But is it possible for the government in the course of, um, you know, the business transaction of concessioning and the likes, um, guarantee to a certain degree the jobs of some of these people who are agitating? Well, when you say guarantee jobs, I, I don't know how anybody can guarantee anybody's job. The fact is that if government is no longer in ownership of the airports or control of the airports, they cannot guarantee employment of these people at the airports. That, that, that's my question. Yes. If they have the conversation, is, can that be part of the negotiation to ensure that at least a percentage of the workers are retained by uh, those who get uh, these airports. Yeah, but it's always difficult to to make such rules for concessionaires. If you're selling an asset to me and I'm paying for it, why would you impose staff and everything on me? But what government can do is to discuss severance benefits. And I think that's what the workers are looking for. I don't think they're actually looking for a situation where government could say, okay, the new owners of the airport are going to continue to employ you. Because when you make that kind of statement, you will not be able to enforce it. And, you know, what is employment, at the end of the day, is if it's not gainful employment, then it's as good as unemployment. Uh, what about the concern they've expressed about the fact the airports, concentration is on four airports now, the others might die off if all attention goes to these four airports? Yeah, but you see, at the end of the day, the concessioning will spread to every airport. Government will not concession the four major airports and leave the, the other airports. At the end of the day, these things have to be done, but they have to start from somewhere. And whether they're going to do a mix of the major airports with the smaller ones, is, these are details that government needs to work out. But they have to concession all the airports at the end of the day. It's obvious you are in support of this, but what are some concerns you might have um, about the process? Yeah, my concern is that um, government needs to make the, the, the process as transparent as possible. We need to engage uh, firms that are experienced in doing this kind of business, doing this kind of uh, concessioning, and let them just do it independently. Another concern I want to express is the fact that um, we have the Motamade Airport 2, which is a good airport. Everybody you know, likes the way it is, the way it functions. But at the end of the day, we still a lot of legal issues around it, around the concessioning that was done many years back. So that needs to be sorted out. I think the, uh, whether the Minister of Aviation or the Vice President or the President, someone acceptable to both parties needs to step in and just um, make sure that that is clearly uh, well concluded before we go into fresh concessioning. You, you, you talked about um, making sure the relevant stakeholders are involved. Well, there are also concerns that by the time, the time to consult all of these relevant stakeholders might affect the, uh, you know, the time frame and the outcome of... No, 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 no. You cannot make a timetable without the necessary consultations. You can't say you don't have time to consult with existing workers and all that. That wouldn't be fair. So I think uh, we need to find time to make sure that we do all the consultations. Who says the time frame? Is our time frame? We need to decide when to concession our airports. That's the way to go, but the, it's, not, it's something we can do this year or next year. It doesn't mean that it must be done today. There is no timetable that is cast in stone. Uh, what would you say to the protesting uh, fan uh, staff? Well, I think that um, the government needs to engage them. I, I think that um, their concerns are genuine. We cannot sweep it under the carpet. We are not, I am not employed in, in government, but you know, we need to also be sensitive and uh, mindful of the concerns of those who are working for government and who are put in so many years, who have kept the airport to today that we want to concession it. I think that we need to reach some agreements with them. I must thank you very much for joining us on the news. You're welcome. Thank you.